a lot of us have struggled with pitfalls. We've dealt with hurt from the church, we've dealt with hurt from our families and friends. You know, I've been dealing with all this stuff and what do I do when, it, when this stuff comes up? I drink, you know, I try to suppress it, I self-medicate. The Good Fight Church was planted because we couldn't find a place where we could hear about Jesus and have a systematic process to get uh, better, to overcome life controlling problems. There was something missing. You know, whether I'm an alcoholic, um, a drug addict, or codependent, those are all symptoms of what the true issue is. And it's understanding that and being able to heal. Our, our church is based and was born out of restoration groups. The restoration groups is like an accelerated program for everyone who's ever lived any kind of life of sin whatsoever. I felt that I had to carry everything on my own two shoulders. And so coming to this group where you were allowed to hurt and be yourself, it was different. It was a lot different. I found a purpose in life that was so much more than just trying to exist. It was a purpose for my existence. You know, I made a commitment to God and I've been talking to God every single day. I've been praying to God every day. I've been in His Word every day. You know, and if it weren't for those things, and me making a life change, me making the choice, I would be back there where, I'm, where I was. Every week, new people are coming in and new people are finding out who God is. I mean, just in the last two years, we've seen 50 salvations, we've seen 35 baptisms. But our biggest constraint, the thing that's stopping us from doing anything more, is how much space we have. Three years ago, this building was donated to us. And the city has allowed us to occupy our building in phases. Right now, we're basically running at capacity and we're just using a small portion, you know, we're using like 5,000 feet of like a 27,000 square foot building. You're like, okay, God, you have a funny way of working, you know? It's like now we have this building, but now we've got to renovate it. And there is so much that needs done. There is electrical that needs redone, there's plumbing that needs redone, AC and HVAC that needs done. We need a new roof. We haven't even gotten to walls or flooring. That's just like the bare essentials for somebody to, to be able to walk in the building and feel safe, you know? I think about the lives that have been changed so far. Yes, there's a lot of work to be done. It's a broken down building, but I think it's perfect for us. I mean, there's a lot of hurting people in this community. There's a lot of people that need to be loved on, and opening this place up can help us do that more. It's not about this building as much as it is about the people. And when we have a place that's gonna be open basically 24 seven, it's gonna change the community. And to have that, we have to finance it. We have to have people that believe in our mission and vision. And that's why we need people's help with this building.